Scorpio, so Chan here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is your September 2020 love reading. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. If you would like to book a mini reading with me, you can find me on Wizio, wizio.com slash psychiclovecoach. That link is in the description box below. And also in the description box, make sure to enter to win this month's love reading drawing. My lovely Scorpios, don't forget to thumbs up and like this reading, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you haven't done so already. Let's go ahead and go into your messages. So I can see here, first off, Scorpios, that September may be a little bit of a challenging month. It's not going to be a month of sadness, of uh, feeling down, doom and gloom, but there will be some frustration. There will be some feelings of frustration. Okay, there will be some feelings of overwhelm. And feelings of stress. So there's more so of an anxious energy or again, a frustrated, overwhelmed, stress energy, you could also be feeling a bit confused as well. All right. So emotionally, again, things may not be as easy, but things could absolutely be worse. Okay. So let's go ahead and look into what's actually going to happen here. Now I'm feeling as though you have been involved with someone who was not the best person, so to speak. I have here the fox. And the fox is someone who is self-serving. The fox is someone who is deceptive. The fox is someone who is a cheater or a manipulator or a con. Um, the fox does whatever they need to do to get their way at the expense of other people. They don't really care about other people's feelings and how they affect others. They just want what they want. And I also have here this whip card. So to go along with that fox, that's just giving me that feeling that you were involved with someone who may not have been the best person. So let's see what we have going on here. So this was an important relationship for you. I can see that this was a very significant relationship for you with this key card. So let's look more into this situation. Let's look more into this person. So, okay, with this key card here. So I can see here that this person's a cold person. This could have been a very cold, secretive person. And you realize that. You realize that. This person also came into your life to teach you things, for you to learn karmic lessons about something. Now, I can also see that there was some kind of secret. There was something that was hidden, that was revealed. This could have caused a lot of obstacles or challenges within the connection. But I can see here that there was something that was definitely revealed in this connection. Again, it could have caused some obstacles or it even could have caused a separation or isolation between you two. There was a lot of anxiety when it came to this relationship. But to me, it's looking like Isolating yourself from this person likely brought you more peace of mind. It brought you more peace of mind. It brought more serenity to your life. It could have also been that 
in the end, when all is said and done, whatever was revealed did bring about a solution to the situation. For example, it could have allowed you to make a decision as to whether you wanted to stay or move on, something like that. But it could have also caused even temporary a loss of peace, well-being in this connection. So right now I'm feeling as though you may have a lot of challenging emotions when it comes to this person. A lot of difficult emotions when it comes to this person. I feel like you are more independent right now and isolated and separated from this person. I do feel that. I do feel that. I do feel as though you are more isolated and separated from this person right now. There's independence between you and this person. So it doesn't look like you're actively together right now. So this is likely someone from your past or someone that you're involved with, but you are not you know, in an actual relationship with this person at this time. Because I see that you have gone your own separate way from this person and it was likely because of disagreements, disputes, not seeing eye to eye, arguments, fighting. For some of you, this can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual abuse. Okay. There was some kind of abuse going on. There was some kind of arguments, challenges, heated discussions, fighting going on that led to this needing of independence, wanting independence from this person. Wanting to reduce the significance of this relationship. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and right now you're thinking about if you haven't already leaving this person. If you've already left, you're thinking about going far, far away from this person. Leaving a situation. Leaving your ex. Leaving a friend, you're leaving someone. You want to leave someone because you don't want the arguments anymore. You want to bring improvements into your love life. You want loyalty. You want loyalty. You want a friend and a lover. You don't want somebody that you're going to sit and argue with or somebody who's going to be combative or argumentative with you. You don't want to be with someone who's going to be a fox. You don't want to be with someone who's going to be conning, self-serving, cunning, sly, manipulative. You want someone who's going to be loyal. Someone who's going to be good to you. Someone who's going to treat you well. You want somebody who's going to be a support for you. Again, you want a friend and a lover. That's what you want to create in your love life. You're in a very imaginative place when it comes to your love life. You're thinking about what it is that you want to actually bring into your love life, which is something better than you had before, which is someone better than this person. So you're wanting to create a new love life, a new truth for your love life. You're being very imaginative, inventive, and ex expressive right now in your mental space. You're imagining a new, you're thinking of a new. Because again, you want something better. But you know what? This, com this relationship was here to teach you that. It was a karmic relationship. This relationship was here to teach you that. And this relationship also came into your life. And this person also came into your life to have you take another look at what it is that you really want. Your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, your desires. What it is that you want to manifest in your love life. Okay? This came into your life to help bring you clarity for some of you about the nature of your relationships. Because some of you have been in, you know, codependent, toxic, challenging relationships. And this came into your life to help you see that. So you can bring improvements to your love life. So you can get rid of that kind of element and bring peace into your love life. It came into your life to help you learn so you can separate yourself from this kind of dynamic and this kind of dynamic and bring about what it is that you really want to manifest. Because it looks like here you haven't had, at least not as of yet, your wishes, your dreams in your love life. You've only been getting maybe more of the same, more challenges or challenging partners. Yeah, you're looking for the man of your dreams. If you're a man here, you're looking for the partner of your dreams, right? You're looking for the person of your dreams. And it may even be useful to really get out there, Scorpio, to socialize, 
to get to know others, to mingle with others, to get together in groups, to party, to, again, socialize, hang out, okay? Spend time with friends, go out, do something. And then you'll likely be able to find someone who you're interested in, okay? You can find the man of your dreams by going out and socializing this month. Oh, that's good. I like that. So it looks like there's going to be a fresh start. There's going to be a new beginning in your love life. And this is going to be very, very positive. We have here the last card of the clover. And the clover here is saying that if there's been challenges in your love life, there's going to be a good solution coming. Or if you've had challenges, these are going to be things of the past. Things are going to work out. There's going to be a new opportunity. There can even be coming up, especially if this is something um, that you find in a social atmosphere. Again, partying, meeting with others, um, getting together with others in my mind, uh, in my inner ear, I'm hearing, hearing celebrating. So getting together with others. Um, if you do get together with, with others and you happen to come across somebody that you are interested in, take that chance. Take the chance. Go for it. All right, because this is an opportunity that is going to be presented to you for something new, a new person to come into your life. There could be a new hookup, a new fling, a new person coming into your life who you're going to be very interested in. And again, you may meet this person through a group of people or while you are out socializing. If you do go ahead and meet somebody that you're interested in, take the chance while you can because the chance is going to be fleeting. The chance can pass you by if you don't take action. So this is not a time to be afraid or get scared or get shy. This is a time to empower yourself, to empower yourself so you can have your own happiness, okay? And you can grow in your relationships. So take that chance, take that opportunity, go for it. Go for it and take the chance while you still have it because again, it's fleeting and it will pass you by if that chance is not taken. And that's going to allow your love life to flow forward more smoothly, OK, it's going to move forward more smoothly. And that's also going to bring improvements to your relationships. And who knows, you can also get a friend out of this. You can get a friend and a lover out of this. OK, so you may also have to do some manifesting, I feel. I feel like doing manifesting can also be very useful for you. So coming up with a plan as to what it is that you want in your love life moving forward what it is that you want to improve in your love life. What new things do you want to do in your love life? What positive changes do you want to bring to your love life? Coming up with a plan is going to be very, very useful for you. And I feel like that's a really good solution for your love life, especially with this key card here. That's going to be a very positive solution for your love life because you may not be completely aware or certain as to what it is that you want within your love life. And the thing is, we can ask the universe, God's spirit, our higher power, our spiritual support team. We can ask for a relationship and that will be provided if we ask for it. It will be, will be provided, but that doesn't mean that it's the relationship or what we're really seeking. You know, we can ask for a relationship and our spiritual support team can bring us somebody who's complete crap. So it can be very useful for you at this time, Scorpios, to become very, very clear and very, very certain about what type of person that you want to be with. What type of person do you want to attract? If you have not checked this out already, for you, Scorpios, I highly recommend my Attract True Love workbook. The link to the workbook is in the description box below. This will help you clarify your goals and your plans for your love life. And the reason why I'm saying this to you is because once you have those plans clarified, once you have that blueprint for yourself, then you'll be able to attract what it is that you want, but not a moment sooner. You know, because if you're just like, I, I just want a man, for example, oh, you'll get one. Doesn't mean that it's the one that you want. You have to be clear. You have to be specific. So for you, Scorpio, this, this reading is saying that that specific, specificity, is, is that the word? Specific, okay, be specific. <laughs> be specific. 
that's going to be very, very useful for you. Okay. And that's also going to bring improvements to your emotional state when it comes to your um, relationships. Because this person that you were with before could have been someone who was kind of all over the place. And this person may have not been, this person may have been a little promiscuous. You know, this person could have also been very overbearing. This person could have also been very overbearing, um, very dominant, domineering as well, um, I can see. Very secretive, someone who is a little bit unstable as well. And again, you want to bring peace to your love life. You want to bring happy times. You want to bring good times to your love life. So again, there's going to be some kind of challenging feelings, maybe confusion about, you know, what direction should I go? What should I do? You need to come up with this plan so you're not going to be confused anymore. All right, you may be feeling overwhelmed about having to make these changes in your love life, but they will be for the better making these changes. So it may feel a little burdensome having to go back and revisit this, to think about this in order to come up with a new plan, but it's going to be for your benefit. So use your imagination and create the relationship that you want in your mind first, because as within, so without. Let's look into your oracle message. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, September, and love. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, September, and love. Check it out. Check it out. We talked about it. I'm getting chills. We talked about it. Go out go out. If you're invited out, take the chance, take the opportunity, because again, it can pass you by. If you don't take it, you can miss out on the man of your dreams. Take the opportunity. Don't miss out. This could be a last minute outing. Okay. Somebody may come to you at the last minute and say, Hey, let's go out. Don't say like, oh, I, I don't know. I have to take care of my cat tonight. I have to wash my hair. I have to vacuum. No, go out, have fun, look good, feel good. Put yourself together real nice. Go out, have a good time. And you're going to like the result of what happens. Scorpios. All right. Thumbs up and like this reading. Comment. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you haven't subscribed yet. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Again, if you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find me on Wizio, wizio.com slash psychiclovecoach. Those links are in the description box below. I love you, my dear Scorpios, and I can't wait to see you here soon. Bye.